Hi, I'm Ed Maycumber with United Power, and I'm here today to show my customers a retrofit project which can save them anywhere from 20 to 30 percent on their heating and cooling bills. It's easier to see in the summertime if you have central air conditioning. It's much easier to tell, but you can actually walk in your basement when your air conditioner has been running for two, three hours. You can actually walk across the basement and as you get closer and closer to the furnace, the basement gets colder and colder. So what happens in a home, especially in the summertime, you get a cold basement, you get a balanced first floor where the thermostat is, and then all the hot air rises up to the second floor of your home. We have anywhere from 9,600 BTUs an hour up to 13,000 BTUs an hour being lost in the basement off of the sheet metal. We're now going to deliver that energy at no additional cost higher up in the house where it's needed by insulating the ductwork. What we're looking at is the air handler over here, which is our furnace. On top of the furnace is the air conditioning and evaporative coil. Above that, we have our supply duct. And then we're going to be working with the round transitions above overhead. The materials and the tools that we need are fairly simple to use. Number one, we want to use a dust mask, eye protection, goggles, face shield, razor knife, staple gun. This is my favorite piece of material for insulating supply trunk. It comes in four by eight sheets. It's poly isocyanurate foil face foam sheathing. It's available at all your local hardware stores, generally in the building supply section. It costs about $8.50 to, to $9 a sheet in a four by eight sheet, four foot by eight foot sheet. You're going to use some duct tape, which is foil. We don't use the cloth material because the cloth material can become brittle and dry and it'll fall off. The key thing about this material is to be certain to clean the top of the duct any place you're going to tape this on because there's a lot of dust and dirt that has accumulated over the years or even in construction, even if your home's new, and to make this stuff stick. We also have another material here which is fairly expensive. It comes in large rolls, 15 inches wide. You can do your entire ductwork with this material, but one roll like this is 15 bucks versus a full sheet at four by eight for nine. This will probably do maybe about a third of what this material will do on a supply trunk. People do like this because you can also use it on the round transitions it'll mold. It has an ad adhesive. But the material I typically like to use on round transitions is just conventional fiberglass bat. And many of the fiberglass bats that we have today do not use formaldehyde. There's less itch involved, but I would recommend that you use gloves when you're working with this material still. 